Welcome back. So today I'll be teaching file management. We're going back to topic one. Display the status report of a folder. Display the contents of a folder. Creating and renaming files and folders. Moving, which is cut, copying and deleting files and changing the date and time. Today I will be working from a past question paper where I will be demonstrating and teaching at the same time. So the instructions I have below over here is question one. The instructions is do the following question on the computer and make a screen print of each question. Insert your examination number left and question number right as a header. 1.1. Display the status report of the computer practice in full folder. Display the files folders in the computer practice folder in full folder. 1.3. Change the time to 3.30 p.m. 1.4. Create a new folder green piece in the computer practice in full folder. 1.5. Delete the folder earth2. So I will minimize this over here. So I'm, I will be coming back to this every time. I will also leave this on Moodle. I will also leave it in the description, the folder and the instructions. So I have my folder computer practice in four on my desktop. The first instruction is display the status report of the computer practice in four folder. What is a status report? Status report just meaning it is the properties of that particular folder. If I right mouse button, click on the folder, I have a dialog box that appears over here. I click on properties. Once I click on properties, this is my status reports, other words, properties. Now I need to print screen. So, and I have to create an image word, open up an image word document. So in order to do a print screen, you do not just press print screen, but I'll do this now as a demonstration. I click on word, go to the blank document, type in header, your examination number. What is your examination number? Your examination number is your ID number. Press tab, goes to the middle, press tab again, and this is question 1.1. Why is it 1.1? I'll go back to the instructions. So we're busy doing this instruction over here. So you will have five printouts because there are five questions. That's it. So I'll go back and I've done the print screen. How do I do the print screen? I'll minimize at the desktop in this case. I will keep my finger on print screen for two, three seconds or for a second. Go back to the word document and control and V, which is paste, or I can just click paste. Now this is a normal print screen, which I don't want you to use. So I'm going to delete that. Go back to this. Control, Alt and print screen. Control, Alt and press print screen. Go back to Word and I will paste it over there. So that's all that we need to show, which is the dialog box. So what I'll do, you will file save as. I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to type Q1.1 and save and then you will print this document. So this will be question 1.1. Remember, file management, each question you need to do separately. You need to print it separately. I'm gonna go back over here and change this to 1.2. The next instruction is display the files and folder in the computer practice info folder. I'll close that, I don't need that. So I need to go in over here double click and I need to display my files and folders which is this over here so I will print screen this go to word and paste this over here and this is question 1.2 I'll click on file save as and I will save it as 1.2 click on save and of course you'll have to print this as well 
The next one is 1.3, so I will change this to 1.3. Remember, when marking, the question is 10 marks. So there's one mark for the question number and one mark for your print screen. So your question number should always be correct. Question space 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 as we go along. The next instruction, what is the next instruction? The next instructions change the time to 3.30. Note that you cannot change the date and time at college with the, with the workstations over there. You do not have the administrator rights, but I'll show you to what point you can go to and do the screenshot. So once you're in the examination, do not panic. You can only go to a certain point, do the screenshot and paste it. My search button, I'll type in control panel. Click in control panel. I get date and time. I click on date and time. And you'll have to do a screenshot of this over here. So control, alt, and print screen. Go to image word and I'm gonna paste it over there. And this is 1.3. We click on file, save as browse, and I'll change it to 1.3. I click on save. And of course, you will print this as well. Remember, examination number will be your ID number. I'm going to delete this, change this to 1.4. Delete that. Close that down. Close that down. The next instruction is create a new folder, green piece, on the hard drive in the folder of the computer practice in four. So let's create a new folder, green piece, in the computer practice folder. I'll minimize. I am in the folder, computer practice folder. This is very easy. You can click on new folder there. Or right mouse button click. New folder. And we type what we see. It's green piece. Minimize that. Control Alt Print Screen. Go to MS Word and I am going to paste it over there. Click on File, Save As, Browse 1.4. Click on Save and you're going to print this document as well. So I'm going to change this to 1.5. My last question. I'm going to delete that. Delete the instruction is delete the folder earth2 delete the folder earth2 minimize so that's earth2 i click on it and i press delete control alt print screen go to ms word this is question 1.5 and paste print this document and save it so it's easy as that that is five questions 10 marks for the external examination they might ask you additional questions. So I'm going to cover that as well. What additional questions? I will show you how to copy files, move files, and create. So I'll go to my folder. And if they say the instruction is create a file, create a file, a file. So I click on File, I right mouse button click, New, and these are the files. You can make a J, uh, bitmap image, Microsoft Office database, an image word, PowerPoint, Publisher, a text file. So let's use a bitmap image file. So click on bitmap image file, and now you need to rename it, and they would give you the name that you should create. So I'm just going to say Mock1. If they say create a text file, right mouse button, click on the mouse in the white area, new and text file. And I will just give it the name now because we have no instructions over here. And what after each one in info, you're gonna print screen, copy it to MS Word and print it. The other instruction if they say is move Mach 1 
to Greenpeace, you're gonna click on what is move, cut, click on cut, double clicking Greenpeace and paste. And you can do a print screen on there. So before I go, I actually just wanna emphasize file management in the external exam, it's normally question three. Question one and question two would normally be your theory. And question three would be your file management. Remember question three has two parts to it. It's your print screen and your header. You need to have five printouts. So your header will be your examination number and the question number. So it'll be question 1.1, print screen, print out. Then you'll change it 1.2, print screen, print out. I just want to emphasize that because it's 10 easy marks that you can get. I hope that helped you.